Will and Emma, today we celebrate that together you are writing a shared story. When you met each other, you both came with experiences and places that left indelible marks on your life. You had people, your friends, your family who supported you and encouraged you in life. You had faith that strengthened you. You each entered this relationship with a rich story of you. Today we celebrate that you have decided that from this day forward, you will share a story. Emma, out of all the places my life could have taken me for college, from Hawaii to the East Coast, I'm so thankful I ended up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, because that's where I found you. I'll always remember when I first saw you and how beautiful you looked. I will never forget when we first met and how excited I was to see your wild blue eyes coming towards me and how sad I was to see your ponytail bouncing away when you left. All of my hopes and dreams that I thought I had drifted swiftly out of my mind when I realized that my biggest dream was for me to be able to call you my wife. However dark, however cold, however dreary, you constantly make my life better than I'd ever hoped it could be. When I told my friends and family that I was going to propose, almost everyone that was already married told me love and marriage was hard work. To my biggest surprise, it doesn't come close to hard work. It's much more difficult. <laughs> I don't mean hard work as in going to a job you hate or as in roofing a house in the middle of the summer. I mean hard work as in all the small intricate details meticulously brushed onto the Sistine Chapel. Hard work as in a symphony flowing effortlessly from the brass to the woodwinds always evolving with the melody. As we always be changing and growing up, I'm so enthralled that we have chosen each other to put in this work together to make such a beautiful life. My heart is so full when I'm with you I thank you for making me a better man every day. So I vow to you to always love and cherish you as the wonderfully unique person that you are, to be a rock in difficult times that remain ahead of us, to always be willing to work on our disagreements, to always remain faithful to you in our marriage, to become the best man I can be, to remain on solid footing in God's plan for our life together. And finally, I vow to love you from this breath until my last moment on this earth. Thank you for your continued love and all of your support over this past year. I cannot wait for all of our adventures, challenges, and successes together. I can't wait to call you Mrs. Crispin, and I love you, babe. William, you have been everything that I could have asked for and more. You are the unbothered to my bothered and the calm to my crazy. I appreciate everything that you do with me without question. I love your dedication and love to me, and I never doubt how much you care and love me. You never fail to show that. I can't wait for all of our late night already in bed water runs that you make. All the last minute eight seconds staying out till 3 a.m. despite your better judgment and all the Uber rides and walks when we're 20 feet from the house. <laughs> I can't wait for all of our vacations and raising children together and being bad mom and good dad. <laughs> I appreciate the humor you bring in at sometimes the worst of times. And I love that you can always and never fail to make me laugh. <laughs> I love you. Now by the power vested in me by God, the church, and the state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Will, you may kiss your bride. It is my happy honor to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Christmas. Rose in a garden And 
Honorable mention, I give you will.